Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to print when you have overhang. So once again, if you search for Prusa Slicer um, app like that, so PRU, that should bring up the slicer software straight away. That app uh, should open up and um, potentially if you've used the app already once you've been logged on, it might go to um, the Prusa i3 MK3 build play. Or if it says default across here, you will have to do the configuration, which might come up straight away or it might not. Um, but essentially it looks like this. And next, select the 0.4 nozzle on the original Prusa i3 MK3. And then go to next and next and next and finish. Okay, and it should bring it up like this. And this should not say default, but it should say original Prusa i3 MK3. Okay, so you want to go to file, import, and go to import SDL file. Um, and then find your file which has an overhang. I'm going to bring this one in which I've created for the purposes of this video. And um, you can see this file here is an interesting file because this file can be printed um, without an overhang or with an overhang, you can see. All right, so if we were to, um, if I was going to print this file, it would be beneficial and most preferable not to print it with any overhang. So whilst it's selected, you can select which face you want to place on the bill plate and i would generally select this plate here this face here so that it builds it with um and prints it with no overhangs at all uh, so that it's just uh, like this now for the purposes of this video i'm actually going to just take that file and print it around the other way um, like this <coughs> now you can see there is an overhang there so an area which goes over the top of um, kind of thin air, as it were. Um, and so we have to uh, put in some supports for that. Now I'm actually going to bring in um, another file as well, just to show you uh, the difference in the types of supports that we can do. So this has a middle overhang. Um, so I've imported that. Um, I'm going to select that face there to put it down. And I'm also going to use this arrange button here just to arrange them neatly so you can see them. Uh, next to each other. Okay, there they are. So you can see that no matter which face I put this one on, there's always going to be an overhang um, there. All right, so that would be a, uh, an object where we really would have to think about our overhangs. Whereas this one has an overhang, but it only has an overhanging on the build plate. This one doesn't overhang the build plate, but it does have an overhang on itself. So we now want to, once you've arranged them on your build plate as you want them to be, um, I might select a brim for this because this area here down here is quite a small area and I just want to help that stick to the bottom. This one probably wouldn't need it. Now we're going to look at supports and I'll show you what happens on here. You've got two options that I'm interested in. One is support on build plate only and the second one, we'll leave this middle one out, but support everywhere. So if I put supports on build plate only, it might give you this kind of little uh, dialog box and you can just click select yes um, <coughs> you can't see the supports now but it knows that it's going to put supports in to help it print and it will help print this area here if I slice that now you'll see where those supports uh, end up being can you see it's supported any overhang that is over a build plate it has not done any supports for this area here so actually this print will actually fail um, so we want to be able to put, um, if we were going to choose this one, we actually want there to be overhangs. So these are kind of overhangs. If I come down and just show you how that, those levels, how they bring down. So if I bring down this area here, you can start to see what those overhangs look like. So it's not printing all the way across. Um, you can see it's just adding supports for uh, are needed. And that's just this little area here. It can leave a small gap but once it gets bigger than this, it does need to put those supports in place. Okay, so um, I can bring that up and you can see there's no supports here. We're gonna click back onto this area here and we're gonna change this instead to supports everywhere because of this file type here. And now if I slice that, you can see it's got supports around all the area on here as well as on here. So it's not just the ones that overhang the build plate, but the ones where you've got overhangs for itself as well. And if I drag this back up, you can see that is what it will look like. Okay, um, so we put everywhere there and we've got our normal infill 15 uh, and we've got a brim there. Okay, so that's how you add supports if you have any overhangs. You can then go to slice now 
that will slice it you can see uh, that um, takes a little bit longer to slice we've got it on a kind of 0.15 quality you can see it's going to take three hours and 33 minutes and it's going to cost about 98 pence so then we go to export click that button and we can now do that and i'm going to put my name first um inchley and i'm going to put that as test and version 2 okay and i can save that now onto the sd card there once i save you can then take that over to the um 3d printer plug it into the 3d printer and select your file which the next videos in this playlist should show you how to do if you do actually want to go back and do any editing you can come back and click on this button here and you can move uh, objects around or I might decide actually it'd be stupid to put overhangs there uh, so I'm just going to print it like that that always, oh not like that like that um, that's always going to give me a better better print if I uh, if I like select it hit that button like that that's always going to give me a better print if I can select it like that and then press this button here just to arrange them nicely and now you can see um, uh, if I do do everywhere I've got rid of all of those overhangs that were needed on this area here it doesn't need any overhangs the only overhangs are here and uh, that should hopefully reduce the cost down to 88p we saved 10p and we saved about 40 minutes worth of time so then you can export that and put that onto your SD card um, and ready for your 3D printer. That's how to do overhangs.